the Galaxy S23 even good? Is it truly better than the S22? Man, I swear, the smartphone industry is falling off. Bro, the Galaxy S23 Ultra video should have came out way before this. Why even get the S23 when you can just buy the S23 Ultra? Bruh, Samsung needs to get rid of this phone. Man, I can't wait until the new iPhone comes out. Bruh, why are you even doing this? Why are you wasting your time? Tuesday, April 4th, 2023. Usually I get ready, clean my room, and get something to eat. But today, I kind of just want to chill. Now, as soon as I got up, the first thing that I did was get on my phone. I woke up at 10.25 a.m. and my battery is on 100%, and I wanted to see how much simple scrolling and just being on my phone would affect my percentage. I scrolled through Instagram to check on some friends, check Twitter to see if the Sixers got another dub, and also to see what the tech community was up to. Went on TikTok because somehow when I'm on it, time goes faster. And I did all of this for the next hour before I felt like getting out of bed. <music> Now I got out of bed, but I still didn't really feel like doing anything. So I went into the living room, chilled on the couch, connected my controller to my S23, and I played Sonic till I was ready to head out. Now after scrolling through social media in a heavy gaming session, I checked my phone and the time was 12.06 p.m. and my battery was on 84%, meaning that in the span of an hour and a half, I lost 15% worth of battery. I also really got a good amount of usage with one hour and 46 minutes of on-screen time, and I'm hoping that I can get at least five to six hours by the end of the day. And now that I'm done chilling in the crib, I was ready to clean my room and get dressed. As usual, I was getting ready to brush my teeth with a simple yet effective toothbrush, toothpaste, and mouthwash. I take my vitamins, put on lotion, lip balm, and my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Also, while getting ready, I will be playing music and my always on display will be on as well. Now, once I got done getting ready and putting my clothes on, I headed to the kitchen to make my daily protein shake. And since it takes a while for me to drink my protein shake, I got on my S23 and went to YouTube to see what video I wanted to watch. And after scrolling down for a little bit, I decided to check out MKBHD's latest video and I watched it till I got done. What's up you guys, it's Haseem here, and welcome to my day in the life with the Galaxy S23. Now as y'all can see, today is very chill. I started off today very relaxed, and that's the overall goal for today. I really wanna show y'all how the S23 holds up. Whenever I'm not doing nothing crazy like hiking or going to the gym, or anything where I have to record a ton, and I really wanna show y'all how it holds up with regular use. I'm going to the movies, I'm gonna go run a few errands, and I'm gonna go get some to eat. And also, quick disclaimer, I have 5G on, my always on display is always on. My display is on manual brightness and my brightness will be medium to high the whole day. And I'm not using no type of power saving mode, so this is a real battery test. So now that I got my late morning routine out of the way, I was ready to head to the movies. I felt good but kind of sluggish from waking up late, but I was still really excited to see how long the S23 will last. Now while waiting for the elevator, I checked the time and it was 1.21pm and my battery was on 72%, meaning that I lost 12% since my last check. I have 2 hours and 13 minutes of on screen time, and again my final goal for today is at least 5 hours so hopefully we get there. All 
right now. I'm in the car. Um, I'm going to let my car warm up for about five minutes. I currently have no internet connection because I'm in a garage right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Subway Surfer to, you know, kind of pass by time. And what I'm going to be doing on my drives is I'm going to be playing music and I'm going to have the GPS with no charger connected. So again, we're really gonna test out the battery. Now I ended up playing Subway Surfer for about 10 minutes while my car was warming up. Went to the upper floor to get some internet connection, check to see what movie I wanted to watch. And since there weren't many movies out, I decided to check out Scream 6. The movie starts at 12 o'clock and the theater is 16 minutes away. So I kind of have to hurry to make it there on time. Also, since this is a battery test, I will be using a GPS and playing music with no charger connected. Now I got to the theater at 2.05 p.m. and my battery is at 61%, meaning that I lost 9% since my last check. All right, now I just got to the movies. It's 2.05 p.m. right now, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm running late. Now the first thing that I wanna do when I get in the theater is take some pictures and a couple videos to show you guys how the camera does in the environment. And also how I'm gonna test out the battery in the theater is I'm basically gonna have my always on display always on and the movie is just over two hours so we're gonna see what the always on display and you know me getting notifications etc does to the battery but i'm not gonna waste any more time let's get right to it because again i'm late for my movie Now before I enter the theater, I checked my phone and the time was 2.24 p.m. and my battery is over 57%. The movie is over two hours long and my always on display will be on. So let's see how the battery does when you're not using your phone. A few moments later. Now I got out the theater at 4.20 p.m. and my battery is at 54%, meaning that in two hours, the always on display was able to drain only 3% worth of battery. Once I got in the car, I checked my phone to see if I got any new messages and also checked social media for notifications and to check on friends. Once I was up to date on everything, I googled some of the nearest food spots and I was tired of the usual stuff and wanted to try new places. So I ended up going to this place that I always drive by but I never had. The battery is around 48%, the place was 17 minutes away and again I will be using GPS and playing music with no cable connected. Now I got to the place at 5.14 p.m. and my battery is at 42%, so I lost about 6% during the drive. All right, now I'm at the place right now. Uh, I'm trying to find the entrance. I really don't know where it's at. This is my first time here, and I think it should be pretty good. And while I'm in here, I really just wanna use my phone a lot. You know, use Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I can also catch up on some emails and really just rack up the screen time. And right now my battery is at 42%, it's 5.17 p.m. And I think the battery is holding up very well. And also I should be in here for an hour to an hour and a half. So let's see how the battery really does.
while I was waiting for my food to get done, I sat down and decided to shed time. I went on Twitter, Instagram, and basically scrolled for the next 10 minutes till I got my food. Also, while I'm eating my food, I caught up on some basketball highlights to rack up some more on-screen time. Now I got to the car at 6.26 p.m. and my battery is at 25%, meaning that the whole time being at the restaurant, I lost 17% worth of battery, but I still feel like I can get more use. All right, so now I'm back in the car. I'm gonna lie, the food was good. And what I wanna do now is, since I don't really have much lined up, I wanna go to the park and I wanna take some pics and some videos to give you guys an idea of what it looks like outside because again, most of the time I was on the inside. And after that, I kinda wanna wrap it up for the day. I'm on 25% it's 6.30 p.m. And I'm not gonna lie, like the phone has lasted me all day. It's doing pretty well, but I'm not gonna waste any more time. So let's get right to it. The park was five minutes away and we're gonna see what the battery looks like when I get there. Now I got to the park at 6.53 p.m. and my battery is at 22% and we're going to see what recording and taking pics does to the battery. Now for my final way of racking up screen time, I went on TikTok to shed mad time before calling it quits. Now my final time is at 7.26 p.m. and my battery percentage is at 15%, meaning that if I wanted to, I can go for almost another hour. And my final screen time is four hours and 48 minutes, which means that I'm 12 minutes away from my final goal. All right, you guys, there it is, my day in the life with the Galaxy S23. And now I'm not gonna lie, 7.30 p.m., damn near five hours of on-screen time. And I think, uh, what, 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 my percentage is on 15%. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's pretty good. And I want you guys to let me know if you think that's good. I really just used it, you know, moderately. I didn't use it too much. And also I went to the movies. I tested out the always on display. I took a couple pictures, took a couple videos here and there, but I still think it held up very well. I'm actually very satisfied with it. And I think that is much better than the Galaxy S22. And also if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you think about the Galaxy S23's battery. And again, thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.